Hey, it's Jared here again with another CRT review. And this time I have a 16 inch E-Machines E-View 17S. And uh, yeah, uh, first impressions, I gotta say, um, I actually really surprised. I had very low expectations and maybe that's why I'm surprised, but I had very low expectations for this because E-Machines doesn't exactly uh, invoke the idea of quality and um, it just doesn't sound quality, right? It sounds like, oh, this is some really uh, cheap, run-of-the-mill crappy monitor that was just thrown in with the cheapest computers um, you know, of the uh, late 90s, early 2000s. As a matter of fact, uh, I would say I was wrong. So this this monitor is from July of 2002. Um, like I said, it's an EVU 17S. I was able to run it at 1440 by 1080 at 60 hertz. I couldn't get it to go higher, um, you know, out of out of sync or out of range uh, error. Um, but here at the native resolution, let's see, I believe 85 hertz at uh, 10. 24 by 768, it runs 85 hertz perfectly, and it looks buttery smooth. Of course, as always, um, blur, blur busters, blur, bu blur, 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 blur busters coming in clutch. Minimal phosphor trail, I mean, it looks buttery smooth. Uh, let's go ahead and get this adjusted. The on-screen um, display, is pretty good uh no complaints here so we're going to uh adjust the size oh actually it's really nice yeah, i really like i don't have to like go over an option and click a button and then adjust and click a button to back out um these controls are actually why why didn't why why didn't everyone just do their on-screen display controls this way it makes so much more sense than the way that most people do it uh, or most manufacturers have done this. So uh, that's really nice. It has a really nice OSD, which I know is not the, the sexiest uh, thing about monitors, not, the, not exactly the, the selling points, you know, but hey, it's, it is worth something because um, I do find that for whatever reason, do have to adjust and finick and because I like to get everything just right around the edges and just perfect. So uh, I'm going to call that good for today's purpose. I could probably rotate it a bit, uh, but that's okay. I, I won't deal with that at the moment. It does need to get rotated slightly. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm looking and, and right away, I'm seeing that things are very crisp, right? I don't think this monitor and it's bright and vibrant. This monitor really doesn't need um, any tuning. I don't think there's any reason to open it up except the power button here for whatever reason. And I see this a lot with these e-machine uh, monitors, this power button uh, got jacked up, right? You know, peak kids or whatever. Uh, it, it does it's, it is, it does have a bit of an issue there, but um, it powered right on, had no issues with that. Uh, Cause I got this from a guy that says it works, but has issues and it looks like it's just the power button because uh, it's, it's running just fine. It looks phenomenal, no complaints. I'm gonna launch a game here and uh, we're gonna come right back. Okay, we're back. So got Risk of Rain pulled up here because it's got good color. So you know, it has, does have muted, grayed out, uh, kind of washed out uh, tones as well as really bright and vibrant tones. So it's a really good way to test contrast and just overall um, uh, uh, how well this monitor will produce color. And uh, I got to say, it's, it's, it's definitely on uh, the higher end of color production. Uh, so some of these old CRTs, uh, you know, even to include my daily driver, uh, struggles a little bit. I got to kind of finick with, get, get a little finicky uh, and fiddle with it. So that's the word I'm looking for. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sitting here again at 1024 by 768, 85 FPS. Looks buttery smooth. The colors are, are great. It's not washed out. It's bright and vibrant. I can easily see, even with a little bit of a glare behind me uh, going on, works fine. Um, yeah, just, just an absolutely beautiful display. Uh, looks smooth, looks looks nice. I mean, it just does everything a CRT is supposed to do. 
And, and honestly, I was thinking that, um, you know, this CRT wasn't going to be that great. I thought it was going to be like, you know, maybe some of the cheaper compacts, um, which are, you know, which aren't bad. They're CRTs and then they are really good because they are CRTs, but uh, they're not all CRTs are created equal. Otherwise, people wouldn't pay for Sony Trinitrons uh, the, the way they do. So, um, yeah, this is just a really nice monitor. Looks fantastic. And I would say that, I mean, if it were me and uh, uh, I had an opportunity, you know, I, I would, if I had to choose between this and, you know, many of the other uh, monitors in the, this, you know, 16 inch, I think it's technically 17 inches, but they say 16 viewable. Uh, if I, if I had to choose, I would probably choose this, even though, um, you know, like the power button issue, I can easily fix that. Not a big deal, but because, you know, it, I, I don't see a shadow mask, the dot pitch, uh, looks to be pretty good. I actually don't know what it is as the recording of this video. Um, these reviews are very subjective and, uh, yeah, you know, there's a lot of room for personal interpretation, but, um, of course, as I list these, uh, for sale, I'm, I will be actually getting real, uh, data. I'll be looking up real data sheets, uh, real manuals, trying to understand like what is actually in the monitor and, and, and objectively, uh, what you can expect to receive. So with that being said, um, I am going to be listing this on eBay and uh, uh, it'll be for sale there. But if you're uh, maybe researching this particular monitor, monitor this model in posterity because maybe you found a different listing or you found it locally, uh, I hope this video has been useful information even if you're not you know, buying it for my listing. This seems like a great monitor. Uh, I would definitely use it to, to game on and, and, and to be a daily driver, uh, you know, very good choice for vintage PC games because it does exactly what a CRT should, which is take a low resolution image and just make it look fantastic. I mean, I'm looking here, I'm not seeing pixels and jagged edges here. Um, and of course, in my experience, even running anti-aliasing on top of uh, uh, some, some of these games looks even better if, if, you, if you're able to run anti-aliasing. I mean, everything just looks so good. So yeah, uh, that's... That's my opinion, my two cents. I, I hope it's been a helpful little uh, uh, review and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you.